Hello everyone, welcome to Obi Crochet Club. In this tutorial, we are going to crochet alpine stitch in a row. So alpine stitch can be crochet as rounds or rows. In this tutorial, we are going to crochet in a rows. So here is something that uh, I'm currently working on with alpine stitch. So when you look at the alpine stitch, it may look difficult to crochet, but it's not difficult as it looks. When you catch up with the method, it's so easy to go on. Okay. So if you new to my channel, I hope you consider to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive notification for upcoming videos. And you can follow me on Facebook. So let's begin with our alpine stitch tutorial. Okay, so here I'm using uh, category 4 yarn and 4 millimeter crochet hook. You can use any kind of yarn that available with you, it doesn't matter. So to begin, make a slip knot. And chain multiple of two. So you can crochet your chains to get your desired length of your project. Just make sure your chains count is multiple of two. Okay. Once you're done with your chains, make a chain one. And now we are going to begin with our first row. So insert your hook into the second chain from the hook and make one single crochet. So this is the first chain and insert the hook into the second chain. And yarn over, pull through, yarn over. Two, two, two. So this is the first single crochet and now we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. So here I'm done with the first row of single crochet and now we are going to begin with our second row. To begin the second row, chain 2 and turn your work. So this chain 2 we will count as our first double crochet. So now I'm going to work one double crochet into the next stitch here. So we will not work for the very first stitch here because we count this chain 2 as our first double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch and work 1 double crochet. And work 1 double crochet into each stitch across. So at the end of the row, make sure you work one double crochet into that last stitch here. So the row number two is done and now we will begin with the row number three. So chain one and turn your work. And we are going to work one single crochet into the very first stitch here. So insert the hook into the very first stitch and make one single crochet. So work one single crochet into each stitch across. So 
so at the end of the row we are going to work one single crochet into the second chain here this is the chain 2 from the previous row so we will work one single crochet into the second chain and now begin with row number 4 chain 2 and turn your work so this chain 2 we just count as a double crochet so this is our first double crochet and now we are going to work front post double crochets so we will skip the first uh, double crochet here which is the chain 2 and we are going to work one front post double crochet into the next stitch here so yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch here like this okay so insert through behind the stitch just like this and yarn over and pull through so when you pull through pull through your yarn longer like this and yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so we did our first front post double crochet here so because of we did the front post double crochet here we will skip the stitch behind the uh, front post here so skip the stitch behind and insert the hook into the next stitch and work one double crochet just a regular double crochet so in skip this stitch and insert the hook into the next stitch and work one regular double crochet so now we did one regular double crochet here so we will skip the uh, double crochet here and we are going to work into the next double crochet stitch okay so skip this double crochet stitch and now we will work into this stitch one front post double crochet so yarn over and skip this stitch and insert the hook into this stitch through behind like this and yarn over pull through so when you pull through pull through your yarn longer so your stitch will uh, similar to your regular double crochet the height of your stitch will be similar to the uh, regular double crochet so now yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and now we will skip the stitch behind here and we will work into this next stitch one regular double crochet and yarn over and front post into the stitch here so skip this one and insert the hook into the next one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two skip the stitch behind and insert the hook into the next stitch and work one regular double crochet so continue work like this until you get to end of this row so at the end of the row you will have one front post double crochet and one regular double crochet like this and you will have one more extra stitch here 
so we are going to work one regular double crochet into that last stitch so end of the row you will end it up with two regular double crochets so in this row we work one double crochet here which is our chain two and one transpose double crochet and one regular double crochet one front post double crochet and one regular double crochet so this is how it works and now begin with the next row chain one and turn your work and work one single crochet into the very first stitch and work one single crochet into each stitch across and at the end of the row work one single crochet into the second chain okay so now Row number 5 is done and begin with row number 6, chain 2 and turn your work and here we will work one regular double crochet into our uh, front post double crochet, top of the front post double crochet. So in this row we will begin with one regular double crochet so this chain 2 count as our first double crochet and now yarn over and work one regular double crochet into the top of this front post double crochet so insert the hook and work one regular double crochet and our next stitch is regular double crochet here between the uh, two front first we have one regular double crochet now we are going to work one front first double crochet into that uh, regular double crochet so insert the hook through behind like this and work one front post double crochet into that normal double crochet stitch okay so as you know we will skip the stitch behind this front post and we will work one normal double crochet into the next stitch and one front post into the stitch here So skip the stitch behind and work one normal double crochet into next stitch. Yarn over and one front post double crochet into this stitch. Skip the stitch behind and work one normal double crochet into the next stitch. So continue work like this until you get into this end of this row. So at the end of the row, you will work one uh, front post double crochet into that uh, last before last stitch here. And you will end it up with one regular double crochet in this row okay and begin with the next row chain one and turn and this row is one single crochet into each stitch across
so each time we work one uh, front first double crochet row and the next row is the single crochet row make sure you work one single crochet into the chain two here insert the hook into the second chain and work one single crochet so begin with the next row chain two and turn your work and here now we will begin the row number eight so the row number eight is similar to row number four which is we begin with the uh, one front post double crochet here then one regular double crochet so in this row we do the same thing we will do the same thing as we did in our row number four so yarn over and insert your hook into the uh, second stitch here we will skip this first stitch and we insert through behind like this yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so our first uh, front post double crochet in this row and skip the stitch behind and work one normal double crochet into the next stitch and from here I hope you understand the method of our alpine stitch so continue work this way So the row number 8, uh, when you done the row number 8, you will work uh, one single crochet row which is our row number 9. And row number 10 is similar to row number 6. Okay, which means we will work one double crochet into the uh, first stitch here. So we have two double crochet from beginning. And then we will work the front post double crochet. So this is how the uh, pattern going on. And I hope you guys understand the method of uh, our alpine stitch. So this is the alpine stitch working in a row so you can continue work and finish your projects with alpine stitch i will show you mine uh, in future i have tutorials with alpine stitch So end of the row, you will have two regular double crochets. Just like this. Okay, so this is how it looks. I hope you enjoy today's video. And if you do, please uh, like my videos and share my videos with your friends. And thank you for watching me. I will be back with new tutorial till then stay safe everyone